Hey everyone, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to more Scrap Mechanic Suggested Creations. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys the GTA Hydra. Uh, I made this build in a stream to celebrate 4,000 subscribers. Thanks to everyone, by the way. So there will be a link in the description if you guys want to check out that stream and see how it was built. So let's get right into the build. I put some uh, pretty cool uh, features on this Hydra as I was making it in the stream actually. Uh, people were kind of making suggestions and helping me along so thanks to everyone for joining that stream and kind of uh, you know giving me some tips as to what you guys could see for the airplane. Overall I'm really happy with the design and the functionality of the plane. It's, it's probably one of the easier planes for me to fly. Uh, but without further ado though I'm gonna show you guys the cool stuff this plane has to offer. Uh, the first thing is to show you guys this right here, which will be the VTOL kind of takeoff and not necessarily landing. Uh, I'll show you guys that once I'm in the cockpit though. There's one on that side and there's another two on this side here. Um, and they kind of actually serve as multifunctional, but I'll talk about that once I'm in the plane. Aside from that though, it's very standard uh, thruster setup like all my other vehicles. Uh, the cool thing about this one though is that this rear landing gear, uh, you can actually hop up and into the back of the plane like this. Uh, so you could actually kind of, you know, change thrusters if you feel like you need to. Uh, I wouldn't really suggest it because I've changed some and boy, sometimes I regret changing them. Uh, but as you can see, I've added this second seat right here. Uh, it serves for two purposes. One is you can have a friend, so you're driving in the cockpit and in the back you can have a friend sitting there. Uh, it also acts as a chair to get up on top of it, so that way you can get on top if you need to. Of course you can always hop out of the cockpit to get inside. Other than that though guys, I'm gonna hop inside and we're gonna have a look at the flying capabilities of this Hydra. So I'm gonna quickly show you guys all the buttons in a row and then I'm gonna talk about the multi-function of those upward thrusters because they do turn. So the first button, of course, is your cockpit that you can shut like so. And number two, that's actually your VTOL and uh, multifunction button. So when you press two, those rockets will go down. And then so those are in like the VTOL kind of mode, which will allow you to shoot yourself up really quickly. And then when you press two like that after you've taken off, it actually becomes the function of bringing your tail down. So while I'm flying, you'll probably see uh, I'll take off with the thrusters pace, uh, facing down and then once I'm up in the air I will turn them flat like so and that way I'll have the function of the tail going down. Uh, so number four is your upward regular thrust and five and six are your left and right roll. If I get up in the air quickly you can see there there's a couple little rolls. Um, seven is the uh, tail bringing it up in the back and eight is the nifty landing gear that has the four going up like so. And nine is just the end there. You can use that to reverse. Uh, it's very good for when you're flying around and you want to kind of hover there like you would in this type of a jet. And you can hover by pressing nine, slowing yourself down, and lowering yourself as well. It's very, very quick on the ground as well, actually. You'll be able to zip around without any problems uh, while driving on the ground with this thing if you need to as well. So you can get yourself to a better takeoff point if there's branches above you. So I'm going to go for a bit of a flight here, guys. Um, you'll see, actually, the multi-function of, of number two. I'll show you guys that uh, after the takeoff, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, be sure to hit that like button, though, and subscribe for Endless Scrap Mechanic, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.